Are you thinking of getting a new pet dog, and you have narrowed down your choices to the Poodle and the Lagoda Romagnolo? Well, you have come to the right place. Because in this video we will provide you with a detailed comparison of these two dog breeds to help you decide which of the Poodle and the Legato better suits you. Furthermore, we will let you know which one of the Poodle and the Legato is better suited for new dog owners, for owners with kids, for owners that live in apartments, for owners with dog allergies and much more. So let's start with size difference. A very important difference between the Poodle and the Legato is the size difference between the two dog breeds. The Poodle is a large-sized dog, Poodles are 24 inches to 27 inches tall, and weigh between 38 pounds and 70 pounds, while the Legato is a small-sized dog. Legato weigh 24 to 35 pounds when fully grown. Furthermore, the Poodle belongs to the Companion Dogs group. Companion dogs were bred to be companions for humans. Their main goal in life is to be with people and they will be very sad if left to themselves for long hours day after day. On the other hand, the Lagoto Romagnolo belongs to the Sporting Dogs group. Sporting dogs were bred to help hunters catch and retrieve feathered game. Some sporting dog breeds such as Retrievers, which were built for swimming, were bred to hunt waterfowl in water. Temperament Difference The Poodle has a better temperament than the Lagoto Romagnolo. This is because the temperament score for the Poodle is 87%, while the temperament score for the Legato Romagnolo is 75%, according to the American Temperament Test Society. Dog breeds with low temperament scores tend to show unprovoked aggression, they easily panic without quickly recovering from the panic, and they tend to avoid people. However, dog breeds with high temperament scores are not aggressive and are not shy. Also, these dogs are generally friendly and are protective of their owners. Training Difference Poodles are very easy to train if you compare it with Legatos. Poodles are easy to train because they are intelligent and eager to please their owners. However, it is important that you begin training a poodle to make the most out of their natural intelligence. Moreover, training your poodle should be based on positive reinforcement and repetition. Be sure to give your poodle praise when he obeys a command and ignores your poodle's bad behavior. On other side, legatos are known for sometimes being rather vocal. They can be keen alert barkers. You may have to spend some time working on bark training to ensure that this does not become out of control. They are a very bright breed and are keen to please their owner. They respond well to positive reinforcement training methods and can begin training at about eight weeks of age. With appropriate early socialization and ongoing training, they can be very adaptable, affectionate, and happy dogs. They often fit in well to a family environment and can live happily alongside other pets. Grooming Difference Poodles require a lot of grooming and they are not very easy to groom. On other side, the Legatos can be a good choice for individuals that suffer from dog hair allergies. No dog is truly hypoallergenic. It is often the dander on the skin that can cause a problem. The Legato, however, hardly sheds, so this means you will not have a hair-filled home. Their coat needs to be groomed out regularly to prevent it from becoming matted, tangled, and uncomfortable. Some owners prefer to shave these dogs' hair short in the summer, when the dogs are outdoors in high heat. Living Needs Regardless of whether your Legato Romagnolo lives in a mansion or an apartment, being engaged is key to their well-being. She's happiest when she's challenged, and if she can please you by completing a task, this good girl will be thrilled. As long as she has her need for tasks and exercise fulfilled, she'll be happy wherever she lives. These pups will bond closely to their immediate family, and they crave social interaction with those humans throughout the day. The legato should not be left alone for long periods of time or else she can choose to make her own entertainment as in, arcing, or digging. Poodles need tons of exercise and opportunity for movement, so access to a spacious fenced-in yard is ideal. If you don't have a big backyard to offer your pup, make sure you make plenty of time for walks and visits to the dog park or another pet-safe open area for them to run and play. If you're a nature lover, a poodle is a great pick. They're naturally adventurous and love the water, so they make excellent outdoor companions. Your poodle can technically be left alone for as long as he's able to go without needing to potty, 
but he will certainly miss you. Try not to spend too much time away. This curly companion thrives on time spent with his people and poodles, can develop separation anxiety issues if he doesn't get enough attention. Prey drive. Poodles have a very low prey drive. This means they get won't chase after smaller pets. They tend to get along well with other pets. Legato Romagnolos have a high prey drive. They have the tendency to chase after smaller animals and pets. They do not get along well with other pets. Let's discuss some popular questions that which dog breed is more dog friendly, the Poodle or the Lagoda Romagnolo. Poodles are very friendly. However, it is up to the other dog to reciprocate the friendliness. Some dog breeds are just unfriendly and aggressive Lagoda Romagnolos get along fairly well with other dogs. How kid friendly are Poodles and Lagoda Romagnolos? Poodles get along well with kids. They are kid friendly. Legato Romagnolos get along fairly well with kids. They are quite kid-friendly. Is the poodle better for apartment owners than the Legato Romagnolo? Poodles adapt very well to apartment living. Legato Romagnolos do not adapt well to apartment living.